Okay, folks, we're dealing with a 2003 Mazda Tribute. Uh, also, Ford Escape. I think this will work or be similar. This will be similar for a lot of vehicles, but specific to this model in the Ford Escape, I think it's up to 08. So the problem was uh, the shifter. Uh, the shifter was not shifting properly like we were in we weren't quite in park even though it said we were so there's a cable linkage uh, right here um, that was already repaired has an e-clip on it you can see it there but here's what I found um, I had ordered a bushing from the uh, from Amazon uh, let me get a light. Where did my light go? Um, and I was going to wait on it, but this vehicle ended up leaving the person stranded. So way down in there, you can see the cable end. Okay. Now, I've already done the repair, but that was just all sloppy. Um, right here... Sorry, not the video here now. Right here is your adjuster. Now I've got it adjusted, so I don't want to mess with it. But if you turn this, it's it'll turn pretty easy um, once you get it working. I think it's if you turn it counterclockwise, um, it'll loosen, and then this whole center section goes up and down, so that you can adjust. The shifter down in there so that your transmission is actually in the right gear the cables the proper length to hit all your park reverse neutral drive so I have a Amazon part on order a bushing that's supposed to work for this vehicle but it, it left it left them stranded so I brought it here to the house I figured I'd see if I could make something up I've watched a couple other other videos so I'm going to show you what worked for me, and it's a little odd. Um, if any of you recognize this, this is a Airwick brand. You can buy them for Breeze. It's these little scent guys that you plug into your outlet. These are the refills. So if you take the top off, and what I used was, oh, and just so you know, um, when you, when you get into this, it's best to just take your air filter box and your air filter hose off. It gives you a lot more room to work. You, you really can't get to it. Um, there's also, there's a bunch of other hoses and cabling that's in the way of getting that bracket off where the adjuster is for you to get it up and out to work on it. So it's best to just leave it in. Take your air box and hose out and work on it. I was able to force an E-clip on there, but let me show you what I uh, used here. So... I looked at pieces of hose to stick in there, some other stuff. There's really not a lot of room. So this is the top of the uh, the unit. Um, this is the wick. So if you have an, you want to wait till you have an empty one of these, preferably, or you can you can take it and dump it out. But um, you know these bushings. It, if you go to the parts store, the bushings kits are. Anywhere from eight to twenty-one dollars. So anyhow, so you want this piece right here, this piece. You take this, put a pocket knife or something in there to pry that off. You want this plastic piece right here. Okay, this is your wick. You want to take that out. And when you get done, you're gonna have something similar. Like this is the outside after I cut it. So what you want is you want that center piece where the wick goes. This wick is just a little bit smaller than the pin on the side of the transmission arm. So if you take that out, you cut around here. If you're real careful, you can see what tools I was using. I use a utility blade and a, and a, a pair of snippers, wire cutters. And I just work my way around there. Be careful. And then you have to cut down the length of it a little bit. There's uh, there's another piece. You get the length just right. It actually, with a little bit of force and a little bit of uh, lubricant, I just use some Vaseline on it. It comes right off. So 
yeah so that i it led me you know this repair led me to the recycling bin and there happened to be one of them in there and i looked at it and thought i could cut it down so yep so something that's free laying around your house you can save some money here and uh, get a vehicle maybe back on the road that's it